swag stuff we all get. Okay, let's do something cool. Okay, so there is uh, one particular aspect of business that people, a lot of people just ignore, and I don't know why. That is retention, client retention. Every single, like, I've worked so many different jobs in my career before I f finally figured out what I wanted to do when I grew up, but every single job that I had, there was one common thing that every single boss told me, and that was, we need to get more sales. The problem is, is that if you're focusing on more sales, you have a hole in the bottom of your cup, AKA you're losing clients just as fast as you are gaining them, then there is a big, big problem in your business. So one way you can fix this is with swag. And people use swag in the wrong ways, in my opinion. They only have it to just give, give away to people. If they go to a conference, they just give that shit away to every single person they see. Like that is the wrong way to use swag. Let me tell you the right way to use swag and the right way is to help you increase your client retention so you can decrease the hole in the bottom of your cup. So there are several different ways that you can increase your client retention, but one of those ways is to use swag and to use it in the right way. So for example, Sticker Mule. I'm not affiliated with Sticker Mule, just FYI. They do not pay me. They are not a paid endorsement of this video. I'm just a big super fan. I order all my stickers, my branded stickers through them. Every time I order stickers, they send me a free bottle of Mule sauce. It has nothing to do with stickers, but you know what? I love it because I love hot sauce. The first time they sent me this bottle, I'm like, Oh, that's kick ass. I want to keep ordering from these people. I have ordered from them over and over and over and over again, and I keep getting mule sauce. So I'm going to tell you the super fan formula, and this is going to help you increase your client retention and get prospects to new clients all the way to super fans. So before I go into the three parts, the first thing you got you to gotta realize about your business is you need to have three different levels of business. And so what I mean by this is you need to have a lower level, a mid-tier level, and a higher level. Lower level is kind of an introductory offer, a service, that type of thing. For example, if you are a, uh, a heating and air company, and this is a maintenance plan, right? Uh, a higher level offer would be, hey, my AC went out, I need to buy a new AC unit. And so that's kind of like low level, high level. For me, my low level is, is uh, the drip challenge. The mid level is gonna be drip you. Uh, and then high level is going to be now you want to become a private client. So for every one of these levels, it's like a stepping stone, right? So this is how you move your, your clients from new client all the way to super fan is like, okay, how do I get them to go up the ladder? You know, I'm, I'm doing this way, but it's really up the ladder. <laughs> so it's like, okay, I'm going to start here. I'm going to get my toes wet. Okay. Now I'm going to get uh, waist deep into in, into your stuff and then now I'm like going all cannonball in. So once you have those different levels established, then what you do is you apply this super fan formula and this is where swag comes into play. Step one is come up with some swag packages for all of your level one lower tier clients. What I really like to do, the more inexpensive type, I like stickers, I like these buttons right here, like I've kind of gone all out with these buttons on my shirt right now. The second part of this formula is for your level two client. They're paying you a little bit more money, so you should give them a little bit nicer swag. An example, a coffee mug or a hat. That costs a little bit more money for you, but you know what? They pay you a little bit more money, so it just makes sense. And the third part of this super fan formula is for your level three clients. So these are your top tier clients. They pay you so much money. They deserve something a little extra. And so what you should do, you don't give them swag at this point. You go find them on social media and you see what they like. And then you buy them a custom gift based off their interests. So an example, I used to have a client, I wanted to have a meeting with him, but he said, hey, let's meet in a couple of weeks because I'm, I'm taking my family to Disney World. And so I saw on Facebook that he posted a picture at Disney World, so I went and stalked him. I printed out that photo, put it in a frame, put it on his desk at work, and you know what he saw when he got back? He saw that frame picture on his desk and he was ecstatic. So one thing that you can do in level three, if you wanna send just branded things, stick with the custom gift, but you could do something like this, right? You can create a custom box, a custom box to hold that custom gift. And then now you just went from here 
to up here. And that stuff looks like a million dollars. So if you wanna do something a little bit extra at level three, still do the custom gift, but do one of these. This is a custom branded box that I send all of my custom gifts in. And so the really cool thing about this is that now you have your branding, but you give them a gift that's custom to them. Even though this stuff didn't cost you, it cost you a little bit more it didn't cost you a million dollars, but man, it sure does look like a million dollar gift. So to close, in order to increase your client retention, you could do it right now, implement all of this swag. Implement the swag in your, your client life cycle from the time they come on board as a new client to level one, level two, level three, and I promise you that they will become a super fan of your brand for life.